First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to Yaakim and Yaakwa to believe in all sincerity. So, as you see here on your screen, the title of this article Senate's Shift Towards Idiocracy Shakes Our Republic's Core. And basically, um, you got this uh, senator, okay, that, um, you know, is very casual in his attire, okay, breaking the norm of uh, what the usual senators wear, okay. <clears throat> and they're liking, um, you know, him to uh, Terry Crews in the movie Idiocracy, okay. And uh, you can see the video, all right, on Next News Network on TV, on YouTube, I should say, but um, uh, I would play it, but I get a uh, copyright strikes. You know, I might play one of the videos that I have queued up, but we'll see. Okay, but it says here in the heartland of America, we value traditions and pride ourselves on the legacies we pass down. But what happens when our esteemed institutions start mimicking scenes straight out of a satirical movie? You see, and you can see this guy in the background. He got a sweater. With some basketball shorts, right? And he's a senator. And when you go to this movie, Idiocracy, okay? And it's starring um, Luke Wilson and Maya Rudolph. Also Terry Crews, amongst others. Okay. You know. Well, I'll read the uh, synopsis. It says, in 2005, average in every way private Joe Bowers is selected to take part in a secret military experiment to put him in hibernation for a year long with a woman named Rita. The slumbering duo is forgotten when the base they are stored on is closed down and are left in stasis until 20, uh, 2505. When they finally wake up, they discovered the average intelligence of humans has decreased so much that Joe is now the smartest man in the world. Okay, the movie's called Idiocracy. Go check it out. Uh, it's very silly, but uh, nonetheless, okay, it shows you the state, okay, of uh, America, America, okay, Babylon, okay. We know, um, you know, the root word of uh, Babylon is Babel, which means what? It means confusion in the Hebrew, right? So. <clears throat> There's a lot of confusion when this guy wakes up from, uh, you know, being frozen. He was supposed to be frozen for a year, okay? But, um, you know, as it says here, um, the base is, is tore down, okay? And they wake up in uh, 2,505, and he's supposed to be the smartest man, but he's just an average guy, you see? And, and, and you know, the Spirit has had me, you know, uh, you know uh, always speak about the, uh, you know, the, the, the dumbing down of America, Okay, a uh, wit hiding itself. Okay, and that's what we're we're coming upon. You know, when you look at uh the you know the C one nine. Okay, and when it came into uh you know effect, you know the pandemic. You know, one of the things I noticed is that all these kids were on uh computers. You know, and they weren't having real interaction. Okay, with teachers, they weren't really learning, okay, on a one on one setting, okay, which, you know, pretty much is important. You know, uh, the scriptures speak about Paul, you know, he, uh, you know, he sat at the feet of uh, Gamaliel, okay, when you look up that word sat at the feet, you know, it, it speaks about, um, you know, having that, that somewhat that intimate uh, intercourse, you know, where you learn from, from, uh, you know, someone that is in authority, someone that, that, that has, you know, knowledge, you see, and, 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 you know, the number 19 took that away. Okay. So, um, you know, there's talks of, of, of a lot of, uh, you know, uh, you know, children. Okay. Case in point, I saw this, uh, video on social media. It was two Jakes. They were teachers. Okay. And, um, you know, they were saying that, uh, the seventh grade, uh, classes that they were teaching the, the, the children, okay, the, you know, the youth, okay, they couldn't read past fourth grade level. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, the government has, you know, the world going down, uh, you know, a very, uh, you know, slippery slope, a very dense uh, place, okay? Uh, you know, and that's how they want it. You know, they want to dumb down America. And when you look around, everything is, is um, 
based on uh on uh um you know on folly okay you know you got people saying they and them you know uh, uh we got all these genders you know uh you know it's just uh transformers you just got you know moism you just got all kinds of stuff running rampant okay that doesn't make sense okay we'll go check this movie out but um they're liking this guy <clears throat> uh they're liking this guy okay let me see let me get his name john fetterman senator john fetterman okay to uh terry cruz okay on idiocracy Shit. I know she's barren. <laughs> so there you go. You know, there you go. Uh, they're liking the senator to, uh, you know, Terry Crews. Okay. Uh, President Camacho. Okay. In the movie Idiocracy, you saw what he wore. You know, and he was fumbling at the teleprompter. And that, that's, uh, you know, reminiscent of this guy, Joe Biden. You know, look at what state he's in. You know, he's falling down off bikes, you know, falling upstairs, uh, trying to get into the, uh, you know, his airplanes, uh, you know, fumbling at his teleprompters as well. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you can see that America is, uh, uh, you know, as, as the scriptures say, light. You know, is as darkness, okay? And um, you know, it's it's right up these Edomites alley. You know, they want to rule in chaos. That's that's what they're about. Okay. So uh it says Senate shift towards idiocracy shakes our republic's core. Go check this video out, okay? Go <laughs> you can check this uh this clip out or go watch the movie of idiocracy. Okay. Well, I can't get the let's see. Well go check out that movie idiocracy better yet yeah check this movie out you know oh okay. a matter of fact um this guy goes to the uh i forget um why he went to the hospital this guy luke wilson but um basically um the, you know he he, he uh he doesn't have a, a a barcode tatted on his on his hand, tattooed on his hand, and the um, you know they tell him at the um, at the hospital, hey, uh, you're unscannable, okay, showing you that the uh, MOTB is uh, is coming in the future, okay. They put it in these movies, so you know for all those uh, naysayers, those scoffers, okay, they say that the MOTB is not the the uh, the RFID that C hip. Okay, that 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 barcode. Okay, um, you know they're showing you. Okay, so definitely go check this movie out. <clears throat> you know because uh, when he was frozen, okay, the sea hip hadn't came out. You know, but he he uh, woke up from the experiment in two thousand five hundred and five, right? So these movies they show you, man. They show you. You know, they show you how people are just uh, consumed with uh, consumerism, right? You know, and this is that guy, uh, President Camacho, Terry Crews. Look at what he's wearing. You know, kind of like this guy. Okay. This uh, uh, Senator John Fetterman. Now, here's another article. Here's what these Americans think of the Senate's new dress code. Sway from tradition. The rule was dubbed the Fetterman rule due to Senator John Fetterman's penchant for casual clothes. All right, that dude wears whatever he wants. Americans are split in their opinions on the Senate's new dress code allowing for casual wear by senators. Fox News Digital asked several Americans in North Virginia, a short way from Washington, D.C., about their thoughts on the upper chamber relaxing the longstanding precedent for suits, ties, or similarly formal attire. This week, after Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat of New York, dropped the dress code. So there was this guy. They dropped the dress code, okay? 
which before was a long-standing precedent of suits and ties, right? It says, the change in the dress code came as a surprise and has been dubbed the Fetterman rule, okay? After this guy. Right here, okay? This guy sent it for forever degraded, this guy, you know? Yeah, he's wearing a, I think it's a black dicky shirt. All right. It says here under this, uh, and you can find this one on Next News, okay, on YouTube as well, this video. But it says here, ladies and gentlemen, there was once a time when our great Republic Senate was held in high regard, a sacred institution where honor and tradition melded together to create an environment of decorum and mutual respect. It was a place that showcased the world that America was proud, a shining example of statesmanship. Yet in recent days, that image has been tarnished by this guy, the senator, okay, wearing uh, sweaters and basketball shorts, uh, utility shirts and, and shorts, okay. He even went to, uh, to France, okay, on some business <laughs> wearing, uh, you know, what he wears, okay. And, and you can find that that video also in these videos okay so yeah go check out the next uh, news network under this guy okay you'll see these two articles this one and <clears throat> this one all right so let's read a little bit more of this and then i'll get some scriptures because you know hey this is funny to me you know it's funny to me how uh you know america's just becoming a free-for-all all right donald trump was the uh you know he was a uh, uh, um you know uh what was that show uh, who wants to be a, a millionaire? I believe it was. What was that? Donald Trump's. Donald. I forget the name of it. Let's look it up real quick. Donald Trump. TV. What was it? TV show? Yeah, The Prentice. I. <laughs> the American TV series, The Apprentice. Okay. So, uh, you know. You know, you, you can see that, you know, that America's just a laughing stock, man. You know. And, you know, you know, things are changing. You know, you got people storming the White House. You know, what was that? The uh the Capitol, I should say. You know. You got a uh, you know, folly. Folly in America, you know, uh, you just got to Look at social media and you'll see all kinds of uh, madness and folly going on. Okay. All right. It says. Uh, here's another picture of this guy. U.S. Senator John Fetterman, Democrat of Pennsylvania, arrives at the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. on September 21st, 2023. You know, look at him. <laughs> he got a dicky shirt on. <laughs> look at this guy. You know. The change in dress code came as a surprise and has been dubbed the Fetterman role due to Democrat Pennsylvania Senator, Senator J John Fetterman's pension for casual wear in the Capitol. You see, Americans were split on the issue with some decrying the rules as a breakdown of decorum. All right. Let's get the word decorum meaning. Simple definition will suffice. Decorum. Behavior in keeping with good taste and propriety. He had no idea of funeral decorum. All right. Etiquette, protocol, customary behavior, good form, custom convention, conformity. All right. Mm, let's see. Yeah. So his behavior, right, because of what he wears is, uh, you know, is unsatisfactory or it's, it's you know. It's in question to say, you know, the least, you know, it's being, um, you know, it's being mocked, but, uh, you know, uh, they've changed the rule. Okay. Some people are with it. Some people are not. It says here, I prefer, wait, let's read it again. Americans were split on the issue with some decrying the rules as a breakdown of decorum and another saying casual garb is not only more friendly to people but also to the environment so that's what some are saying i prefer traditional wear one person said i think that should be a standard maybe a friday you can take a bit of a lag stats maybe a hot summer but i will not sway from tradition she continued and i think it conveys a sense of confidence that there's some and that it is something that is not to be taken for granted she added this is the guy that changed it this guy 
All right. Senate, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat of New York, relaxed the Senate's dress code this week to allow for casual wear. Another person said he thinks a dress code change is cool, even though he's not very into politics. One respondent said he thinks the change is a good thing for the cases when senators need to act fast on a quick vote. But in terms of actual Senate decorum, all right, and we looked at that word decorum. Decorum. It says here what? It says etiquette, all right? And they believe that suits and ties is etiquette, right? Esau believed that. Okay, protocol, customary behavior, good form, custom, convention, conformity, all right? Ritual, formalities, niceties. That's what they think is is is, is formal, you know, formal, formal dress, right? Suit and tie, all right? <clears throat> but now these things are changing, okay? And a lot of things are changing in America, man. A lot of things don't make sense, you know? And I think this is funny because, you know, America's uh, uh, going down uh, fast. You know, it's just uh, everything. Nothing makes sense here no more. You know. All right. It says uh, it saves him time so they can help the community more and serve us. He added the new dress code change has rough, ruffled some feathers on both sides on the aisle in the Senate after Schumer made the change. Senator Joe Manchin, uh, Democrat from West Virginia, is preparing to issue a bipartisan resolution next week that that would reinstitute the Senate's dress code after Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat of New York, relaxed the rules last weekend. The resolution would revert the dress code back to require senators to don coats, ties, or business attire while on the Senate floor. Next week, Senator Manchin intends to file a bipartisan resolution to ensure the Senate dress code remains consistent with previous expectations, a spokesperson for Manchin's office told Fox News Digital in a statement Friday. Okay, so as you see, America's divided as always. All right. Um, look at this guy. Um, you know, he was asked something and then he just, you know, went off into this little act of his i seen the video <laughs> right here you know but uh yeah you know and, and america makes no sense man okay this is truly babylon man this is truly you know confusion okay so let's get some scriptures you know let me end this out all right this is second Ezra's five okay let's see <laughs> We'll start at eight. There shall be confusion also in many places. You see, there shall be confusion also in many places. And there's confusion all over the world. Okay. It's, it's just madness and folly. You see, the Heavenly Father has to ultimately, you know, set things right. You know, especially here in America. America is becoming like idiocracy. When you see the movie, if you haven't seen it, you know, go check it out. You, you, you'll know what I'm saying. You know, because the movie, it, it just, you know, it, it makes... uh. You know, it makes some good points. You know, it's it's a spiritual, it's spiritual. You know, because um in the movie a lot of uh, people um they don't even know how to speak. You know, properly. You know, they just uh you know laugh at at things that are wicked. You know, and evil. And that's how you know you live in a society like that now. You know where um you know if you try to stand for right, you know for truth, you know for righteousness, you know you're mocked, you're laughed at. You know, and people are just talking about a bunch of nothing. It doesn't make no sense what they on. You see? So, um, and that movie, is, uh, that point is conveyed in the movie. Okay? So, there shall be confusion also many places. And the fire shall oft sent, shall be oft sent out again. And wild beasts shall change their places. And menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. Okay? It says here, and salt water shall be found in sweet and all friends shall destroy one another that's another thing you know the scriptures speak about um uh breaking of truces okay and you're seeing that in the world and that's huge okay second timothy three and one and, and i brought this out the other day to the spirit this know also then the last days perilous times shall come you see, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And you're seeing that in the world. You're seeing that today on the world. When you watch social media, when you just go out into public, I mean, people are walking in the vanity of their mind. They're walking like the Gentiles. And the scriptures say to, to not walk as such. 
Okay, because when you look at the heathen, they weren't given the commandment. That's another thing, you know, through the spirit. I've been noticing there's been a lot of videos coming out on, um, you know, these heathen eating all manner of, of, of abominable foods, snakes, dung beetles, scorpions, all over social media. It's just showing heathen from Thailand. Okay, you know, Moab, Ammon, you know, eating, uh, you know, shrimp, um, you know, salamanders, geckos, snakes. What else? You know, these, you know, just weird bugs. Okay. Um, you know, um, pig intestines stuffing them with the rice and it's, you know, trying to make something abominable look, uh, um, you know, consumable, you know, and, and the list goes on frogs, turtles. It's like, man, and their videos are everywhere. All kinds of people. And I think, I think, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think, you know, a lot of these uh, heathen are, are doing it for shock value. You know, they're getting paid for eating this abominable food because they know that the rest of the world is going to look at them like, yo, what's up with these guys? OK, so, you know, you're, you're seeing so much confusion. You're seeing so much uh, 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 unholiness. You're seeing so much wickedness, so much senseless folly. You know, and, 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 you know, you got people in the comments saying, oh, well, you know, that's their culture. You know, stop looking down on people, you know, but but, you know, the point is that the, you know, the Lord is showing the heathen who for who they are, you know, and not only them, you know, other videos of cannibals. OK. You know, Elam. OK. And, and the things that how they uh, prepare food, you know, making bread with the feet, you know, toes all in the, uh, you know. All in the dough. It's just, man, it's just crazy. Okay. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, right? Traitors. You know, you got a lot of that. Betrayal going on. Heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. Okay, going back. And all friends shall destroy one another. And you're seeing that. You're seeing that so much, man. Social media. You know, people uh, uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses, you know, trying to, you know, outdo the next man. And you just see all this folly through the spirit. Right. It says, then shall wit hide itself. OK. And this is the, the point of this lesson. Then shall wit hide itself. Just like in in this movie, Idiocracy. Matter of fact, let's look up the meaning of idiocracy. Idiocracy. A society or group that is controlled by or consists of people of low intelligence. OK. Low intelligence, man. The meaning of idiocracy is a society governed or populated by idiots. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing that. You're seeing that in these in these days, man. All right. Let's see. And 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 you know what? Truth be told, you know Esau's an idiot. Okay. It says then shall wit hide itself, man. And wit is hiding itself, brothers. Okay, and you few sisters out there that watch these these videos and, and, and get edified through the spirit. Empower you how about Shimao Shai? Let's look up this word wit. Wit. Mental sharpness and inventiveness, keen intelligence, a natural aptitude for using words and ideas in a quick and inventive way to create humor. Okay. Mental sharpness and inventiveness, keen intelligence. And that that's hiding itself. You see? You know, that's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The Lord wants us to be uh, intelligent. You know, the apostle uh, Gabar, you know, he mentioned a while back. He's like, the Lord ain't raising up just just average Joes. You know, the Lord is raising up men who, who have discernment, who look into things, who have moral, uh, 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 you know, standards that walk with integrity. They can that, are, that have a, a foresight that are keen that can pierce that are shrewd. You see? But as you see, wit is starting to hide itself, brothers. That's the point. Okay. Then shall wit hide itself and understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber. There's a famine of the word coming. And when the word of Yahweh Bashem Yashai gets taken off the internet and off the streets, that's it. It's going to be darkness. And if you got the word, if you understood what was going on, if you could see through the BS of America, Babylon the Great, and these devils, then, hey, 
All praise to Yahweh Bashem Yashai. But if you can't, you are going to be left in darkness. You see? And understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber. Okay, scriptures say, uh, uh, get wisdom, but what all that getting, get understanding, understand and see what is going on around you. Okay, perceive, right? And shall be sought of many and yet not be found. You see, and these devils want it like this. The, the dumbing down of America, that's, that's true. You know, the dumbing down of America is very true. The curriculum, look at your, look at these kids' math problems. OK, they used to dump uh, 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 every kid used to get a uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, a plastic box with just a bunch of, uh, you know, building blocks, a bunch of cubes. All right. A hundred cubes. And they'd give you a, a piece of paper back in my day. And, and what was eight plus seven? You would literally have to count eight cubes, seven cubes. And that way you learn how to count. You learn how to use your fingers. You learn how to count. You learn how to use your brain. You see, but in this society, all right, and these devils are, 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 um, you know, they're promoting this stuff. You know, look at, look at uh, our president, look at Joe Biden. He's the real president Camacho fumbling at the uh, teleprompter. You see, you know, see now it says, and shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinence be multiplied upon the earth right right let's get this word incontinence w once the famine of the word comes forget it this world's going to become very dark and it already is okay incontinence lack of self-restraint the emotional incon incontinence of modern society you see the scriptures speak of uh, truce breakers you know without natural affection okay idiocracy just you know watch that movie you see you're seeing that. You're seeing that. Here is uh, the President Trump, right? What is this guy? He's a, you know, they want to arrest him. You see? Uh, look at Bill Clinton, the scandal with him, okay? Joe Biden is accused of being a pedo. It's like, what's going on? You know, and it's 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 more than just guys, you know, showing up to the Senate in a, in a sweater and in, in basketball shorts. It's more than that. It's a spirit of... um just decline in america okay so people are not going to lack restraint they're going to they're going to uh, uh result to just brute beasts okay so let's go back uh, where are we at yeah all right well let's start from here again then shall wit hide itself and understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber and shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinence be multiplied upon the earth. Right. Once wit hide itself. OK, what's understanding? OK, is, is, is out of the earth. You're going to see. OK, you're going to see idiocracy come to life it, and shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinence be multiplied on the earth. Well, self self restraint. People are just going to go wild. Okay, a time like never before upon the earth. You know, killing is just going to be the, the answer to everything, right? Rape, you know, lying, cheating, stealing, false dealings. It's going to be, it's going to be normal and it's already normal. All right, it says one land also shall ask another and say is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through thee and it shall say no. You see? One country is going to ask another, is righteousness that maketh the man righteous gone through thee? I mean, people are going to ask like, yo, where's, where's all the good people? Is there any good people out there? Is there any good vibes, any good things going on? And the answer is going to be no. Okay, only the election are going to have that understanding, okay, of, of you know, what it is to govern a society, how we must act. You know, that's why the Lord... um you know, reproves us and rebukes us for our, 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 our miscarries so that we don't, uh, what do the scriptures say? That you are judged. Let's get that. Let's see. I think it's in Corinthians 10. Yeah. Yeah. 
wait judge yourself hmm man alright let's look it up real quick for edification's sake First Corinthians 11, that's what it is. First Corinthians 11 and 31. It says, for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Okay? If we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So if we, if we watch how we walk, you know, we won't be judged as much. But it says, but when we are judged, we are chastened of Yahweh, that we should not be condemned with the world. You see? So the Lord is chastise, chastising us to get us right. Okay? But the world... They do not take chastising. The world is rebellious and they want to they want to justify themselves. And see, that's that lack of restraint that's coming, that incontinence. Okay? For you know, the scriptures say the Lord's gonna send out scourges for amendment. Amendment is to get things right, but people were they're going to um, you know, pull the, the shoulder at reproof. Okay? So let's go back here. Let's see. And we'll end it out. Okay, this is Let's see. We'll go back to here. One land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through thee? And it shall say, No. At the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. You see? And people are walking in the world without hope because they're alienated through the Most High, through the darkness that is in their mind. They shall labor, but their way shall not prosper. And if we're coming upon a time, or oh, we're in that time, you're seeing a lot of videos, you know, social media, that people are laboring, and they have nothing to show for it. Because the inflation is, is so high, and that's senseless. That's senseless that, you know, a bottle of water, okay, uh, 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 costs, you know, uh, two bucks, you know, and, and you can get a gallon for 35 cents. That doesn't make no sense. But so it's convenient, right? It's so convenient, you know, to sell a bottle of water right at the uh, checkout stand for two bucks. Then go down the block, okay, to a dispensary, distillery or whatever you call them, the water, and get the gallon for 35 cents. You see, it's it's everything is a, is a damn, you know, money grab. Everything is a scam, a scandal here in America, okay? And that's a small example. It says... It says, but their way shall not prosper. They shall labor, but their way shall not prosper. You see? And that's the thing, man. We're, you know, they're telling you, oh, yeah, things are going to get better. You just got to work harder. And that's, that's, that's a sham. That's a sham, you know? You know? They don't, they don't want to increase the wages, but they want you to labor, okay, harder. We've heard that story, you know? I mean, do what you got to do. Go to work. Don't be lazy, but still, you know, it, it is what it is. In captivity. To shew thee such tokens, I have leave. If thou wilt pray again and weep as now and fast seven days, thou shalt hear yet greater things. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay. This uh, is going to be titled, Then Shall Wit Hide Itself. Okay. Because, you know, in the Senate, you know, you got these guys, um, you know, going back and forth about the dress code and, you know, America's going to hell in a handbasket. It's like an into a idiocracy, you know, and much folly is going on. You had a and I did a video on it. You had a president um, uh, from Russia. This guy, Vladimir Putin, call America political system rottenness. Go figure. Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweshai, Bashem Rokakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all you, Akim and Yahweh, to believe in all sincerity. Shalom.